Dixie Brewery's general manager is responding to angry email messages and phone calls from people not happy with plans to rebrand the iconic New Orleans beer. Friday, owner Gail Benson announced a new name is in the works that she says will better represent the city's culture and community. Paul Murphy has our follow-up report. Dixie Brewery General Manager Jim Birch wants to set the record straight about why the name of his beer is changing. This is really a retirement of the brand. This isn't us um, trying to rewrite history or trying to tell a different story. Birch admits since owner Gail Benson announced plans to rebrand the beer on Friday, he's received threatening emails and irate phone calls from people who disagree with the change. He says he's also gotten feedback from people who support the idea. It was probably one of the most difficult decisions we've had to make because we know that people would be frustrated. We know that there's a tremendous amount of heritage and great memories associated with the brand. There are competing theories about the origin of the nickname Dixie, which has been used to describe the Old South during a time of slavery and the Confederacy. The decision to rename Dixie Beer comes as many people across the country are now calling for the removal of symbols associated with racist figures. When people want to hear Dixieland jazz, do you now say we're going to call it something else? New Orleans historian and author Charles Marsala says getting rid of words like Dixie is a slippery slope. Now we have to say how far down the road are we or down the slope have we gone with renaming a lot of items that are now at risk. And then when we do that, do we? how much are we going to lose of our heritage? Dixie Beer's GM says renaming the brand positions the brewery to be around in New Orleans another 113 years. What we're making here is uh, New Orleans in a bottle. That's what we've been saying about Dixie, and it's what we're going to be doing in the future. Birch says the new name will be inclusive while also reflecting the history of our region. He added that it will likely take 6 to 12 months to rebrand the beer, but he's hoping that the product will be available for sale by Mardi Gras 2021. In New Orleans East, Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. The Dixie Brewery wants to hear your ideas for the beer's new name. We have a link to the brewery's info line on our website, wwltv.com.